Now we're going to talk about ways and means of repositioning. So this is where a lot of people are right now here. A lot of people here have been doing something for a couple of years, maybe a couple of months, and they thought they had something. They went somewhere, they jumped in something, they read a book, they took a course, and they said, okay, this is going to be easy. I'm going to do this. Ah. And what happened? No results. Crickets. Right? So now you're at the place where it's like, okay, I thought I was this, but I'm really this. Or I thought I was this, but I think I'm this, and I know I've lived through this, and it seems like I'm not really too clear on who I am and just exactly what I do and who I speak to. Is there anybody who can speak to that? Not, not speak to it literally. Just put it in the chat if you understand, and you're like, yeah, I'm not really sure. I thought I was this. I thought my ideal client was that. But when I tried to speak to them, they wasn't talking back. I don't know. I've invested money in courses. I've read a lot of books. I've followed a lot of people. And I'm not really sure. I don't really have clarity. I seem a little bit kind of all over the place. I'm talking to a lot of different people and nobody's responding. I kind of need a reset. That's called repositioning. The right positioning strategy at the right time can help a brand build a powerful image. Remember, it's all about the image. The right positioning strategy at the right time can help a brand build a powerful image in the mind of consumers. So you can get this right, but if you get it wrong, that's the difference between the unemployment line and a million dollars. That's the difference between going to apply for a second job and being able to say, okay, I've made this amount of money to sit on. I'm going to go part-time now and work that extra four hours or extra five hours during the day on my business because you've made a modicum of success. And now it's time to build on that success. That's the difference between being able to spend time with your family and trying to pedal the wheels faster and, you know, just, just do more of the same thing that's not working. It's the difference between sanity and insanity when we know insanity to be doing the same thing, expecting different results. It's the difference between the life and death of a brand. And it can very literally be the, the death and life of a business or the life and death of the business owner. From time to time, the current positioning strategy fails to resonate. That's not saying that you're a bad person. That's just saying that your brand doesn't resonate. Your messaging is off. It might be your uniform that's off. You might not be just hitting the right keys. You may need to change your pitch. You may have to change your delivery. You may have to pick up your speed, come more rapid, come more powerful. You may have to dial it back, slow down, become more soft-spoken in your approach to the marketplace. This could be due to new market entrants. I said every year, a, a new generation of 17 year olds turn 18, right? Every year, a new generation of people who were 35 in your target market, they cross that threshold. They're no longer primary, right? So changed customers' preferences. People changed their mind. COVID changed their mind. People were in high demand. There were certain brands. There were businesses that were in business that had multiple billions of dollars in stock that are now in the basement and gone. Never to be, they're clearing out inventory. When you hear about clearance sales, let me tell you guys something if you're not paying attention to the market. Sales don't take place in January. They take place in December, November, for January to raise the prices again. Now all you hear is clearance sale and fire sale. They're trying to get rid of the inventory because they got to clear out. People are getting their final paychecks every week from well-known brands that have been here for 30, 40 years. It's not just the end of that location. It's the end of the LLC. It's the end of the business, not just the business model, but the end of the business model is coming. So if you're in a physical job where you got to knock on doors and the door has to be unlocked, 
if you're not in what they call a, uh, what do they call it? Um, an essential market. Whoo, you are expendable. Next time that wave comes, they're going to give you the keys and tell you to stay with them. We're not doing physical locations anymore. COVID has changed everything. You got to learn how to figure this out. That's changed customer preferences. People don't even want to come nowhere and try nothing on and buy nothing in a physical spot. I'm not going to no shopping mall. When? For what? Look at, look at Black Friday. Wasn't nobody jumping all over each other. <laughs> look at Black Friday. That should tell you everything about how the world has changed. They was jumping all, all over each other a couple months before for toilet paper. Come Black Friday, everybody at home ordering online. It's a different business model. Structural change within the target market, such as aging or segment creep. Or simply that customers have just forgotten about a brand in this position. They just forgot about you. Because somebody else came in with a bigger budget. Somebody younger came in with a fresher pitch. Think about the, the, the brand new Benz three years ago. Who remembers it now? That's called trash now. That's called old now.